We are back with episode 39. What's up, Brett? What's up, Mario? You ready to do this, buddy? I'm ready, baby. We've been getting a lot of good feedback from members. Uh, they're tuning in. Cool. I love people talking about it, uh, about not listening because they care, but it's also an introduction to a conversation we can have with it. Like, what did you like about the podcast so much? And then we can, it really entertains really what we're trying to do here, which is well round the conversation, not just about movement and getting better at movement but making this thing a whole lifestyle yeah and i think we're also kind of getting our feet in the door through their lives not just in the gym right they hear us talking when they're on their way to work like oh you know i'm still getting coached here you know i see them daily in group class but they're also you know they're in my ear right right they're keeping us in mind and uh it's an opportunity for us to kind of stay on them and deliver more value and entertain and the whole nine. I yeah, think and that's rolling. what the convo moved toward, which was like, I heard your voice today when you your last podcast was about discipline and how important it is to discipline. And here she was this morning at 530 in the morning. So it was like, I, like it's clicking. Yeah. It's starting to click. Yeah, we're putting this thing together. Uh, so yeah, let's keep rolling. Well, you came up with a really good idea this weekend. It's basically trying to, I think for our listeners, for a few, for the listeners who are members, it's like, What are all these other services that we're adding that we have here? Why do we have them and what benefit it could be to them? And I think to other people that are listening, whether they're gym members of other gyms or gym owners, that maybe these are some other services that they should consider as part of their own gym because ultimately, if all you're offering is CrossFit, you are really limiting the selection of programs and services that you can have. CrossFit is an amazing service. It still runs over 50% of our uh, generating revenue here, but there's still a lot of other things that we can do to not just add more revenue, but to add more value to the service service yeah i mean there's no doubt that the group class hour long model is the cream of the crop right but let's not stop there let's you know come up with these other services we can um add in to complement the group class and uh and deliver even more value like you just said the first one that's a no-brainer to us that we believed in since day one because it is our background and that's personal training we use a one-on-one personal training model with people that have the time and can't afford it. And we believe, listen, in a perfect world, I wish every single person would start with personal training. No ifs, ands, buts about it. If I knew that everyone could afford that and our schedules would allow us to take our 150 members that we have and put them through personal training first at 12 sessions, 24 sessions, Mm -hmm. I would love that. Now, I know it's not practical, but personal training is one of the best services we offer. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, You can, Add some, you know, accessory movements to pertain into the movements you're doing in, gr- in CrossFit class. Um, another benefit is you're not so crunched on time that you are in a, in a group class managing, you know, up to 12 people, right? You're one-on-one. Um, you can communicate a little more efficiently so that, you know, cuts down the time you got to spend on specific areas. And then if you want to spend more time on something specific, you can stop all together. Hey, let's go back to this, right? You don't have, you know, other members waiting on your queue to, to get rolling on something else. You can one-on-one, it's more personable. I mean, there, there's so many benefits to the one-on-one um, training. When we identify the group class, we say it's group personalized training, but, uh, you know, we can just provide so much more attention uh, to one person uh, on the one-on-one setting. Some of our best clients are the ones that are doing both, that hybrid membership where they are offering, uh, we are doing PT with them, but they are coming into group. And that works well because they're getting constant feedback on both ends. When we're doing personal training, we're looking at identifying you know, their weaknesses uh, in CrossFit exercise selection and building that up so that they can kind of show that off in group. And then as group comes around, it's looking at potential weaknesses that we can bring back to personal training. And then we have this really well-rounded system in place to get them better. Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, the hybrid client I have that, uh, what I tell her is, hey, every Sunday when programming comes out, you know, look throughout the whole week. If you see any movements that are maybe higher in skill and you want to work on a little bit in our PT session, go ahead and feel free to bring that up, you know, so I can make you better equipped and prepared when that high skill movement comes in group class. That's a great model because we're, you know, we are already putting so much 
energy and time as coaches into programming that we know the world the well roundedness is going to be there so from a personal training standpoint that's how we look at it i do the same thing i look at the days that i have my pt client and what day she comes in a group and then we so mold and we mesh those together that would be really great we also recognize brett that there's some people that don't like group and they're not set for that i don't believe crossfit in the group setting is not right for everybody and that's okay but if i don't offer a different service like personal training to accommodate that we're gonna lose them. you're gonna lose you never even have them they won't sign up and that's what i did originally and it's why i lost a lot of people and that's how this model came around it's why we moved to naples strength conditioning because i wanted them to know that we do offer more services crossfit might not be right for you now or it might not be right for you ever but here are some other programs for you and for some of those clients that we have that are just personal training clients we get a lot of work done and what's the irony of this is that our PT clients train CrossFit whether we say it's CrossFit or not, yep. right? Because like, they just don't like the group model, right? They, they love constant. Like if you said, hey, would you be okay with uh, constant variation that we can change our workups and, uh, constantly? Sure, I love that. Hey, what about functional movements? You think that you'd be good with back squats and deadlifts and things like that? Sure. Hey, what about high intensity? You think that's something that you'd, sure, no problem. But as soon as you say CrossFit, they, they're, they're a little scared by it. So we just no, don't call it, it, it CrossFit. It's funny you say that because uh, as you know, and a lot of people know, I came from the corporate global gym setting, right? Well, my last uh, three months there, I was still in my internship here, right? And everything I was learning here, I was applying there. So when it was the time to just come here full time, make that move, I lost some clients because they were so turned off about making that move to a crossfit gym, gym yeah little did they know the last three months i've been training them that's with hilarious. crossfit that's hilarious right and they were getting the best results that they've gotten in a long time you know unfortunately sometimes it, yeah. the, the name crossfit turns people off right yeah and that's what i was going to say Unf and that's the unfortunate nature of them not ever giving it a try they heard somewhere else that someone got hurt from it and they made the decision to never try it and that's a shame because there's there's so much more potential they can get out of a program like this than uh, you know other programs out there. But um, you can't that, knock it till you try it. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny because I, I did the same thing at UF before. I, I I stepped away from personal training, which was I'm gonna do CrossFit with them regardless. Uh -huh. So, anyways, the the other is there anything I left out there you want to add? No, but I think a, a perfect segue from us, you know, comparing um, our strategy and personal training by um, you know, keeping our programming in mind on what we're doing you know, in the one-on-one -on -one pertaining to what we're doing in group class to combine that. You know, our programming is a great system we've got going. So what we're kind of getting, you know, uh, working towards in the future, right, is what we're kind of developing now is a option to offer our programming online, remote, um, you know, and this is a great, a great way to do it say if you're out of state you're on vacation right or you know maybe it's a little more cost uh, effective for you if you you know you know the crossfit so basically what we're doing now is we're trying to offer our online our programming to you know both uh non-members well it goes back to originally we have so many uh, different skills and inputs that are going into our programming and we believe there's an immense value there it's why we don't offer our program online for free we are a private gym that are offering private programming. I'm not gonna share that with other people. Now, if people see the value in it and they wanna uh, spend some type of money on it the same way our members are putting skin in the game, because that's ultimately what it's about, putting skin in the game, I am more than open and willing to help you get into this. Not like I'm using it to copy what you're doing so I can do that somewhere else. No, I'm using this as a way in a form of training, like we should offer that. And we've had multiple comments and feedback about why don't we offer this thing online. And that's been my philosophy about the programming, which is like, we work really hard to develop this program. Why am I just sharing it like, like there's no value there when you get it for free like a lot of gyms do, right? Yeah. And I didn't want to be that gym. I believe that if you wanted that you earn the right to train the way we do here by becoming a member. Yeah, no, I agree. And, um, you know, you know, we spend a lot of time, countless hours per week on this programming, right? So it's not like, hey, we're drawing up some BS real quick and we're throwing it out there. Hey, good luck. Hopefully this, 
you know, makes sense. Now we put hours of work into it. We make our corrections, you know. Um, it is very hard to come up every week with constantly varied all the time, right? All the time. So, you know, that's kind of our focal point is make sure it's always changing. Um, no one's ever adapting to the certain style of training. And that takes time and effort to do that. So the value is there. It's unique and it's original every single day, week, month, and year. And that uniqueness is what offers an immense amount of value. And I'm not just going to share that willingly. With that said, I believe that there is an opportunity, like you said, to share that with people that are coming into our gym, that are former members, or that are drop-ins that loved what they saw and they want to get more of it. This is a huge opportunity for them to really deep dive with us weekly. And it's not just going to be, it'll be programming, we're throwing videos videos on there and we're, we, we want to inspire learning and we want to do that through the masses because really if you think about it we are limited right now by only offering the program to current members and we believe that we can extend that knowledge much greater and the best way to do that right now it's online programming yeah and then it can be a way more in-depth uh personable you know, accountability aspect based on what the client's needs are, right? If you are a pretty advanced, you know, CrossFitter and you know what you're doing and you're good with paying, you know, a lower rate for just the programming and then you're on your own, power to you. But if not, and you want a little more one-on-one -on -one accountability, um, email, you know, check-ins, te text check-ins, even, you know, movement video demos, like we can go that more in depth based on what their needs are. Right, that would be the more remote coaching versus remote programming. Exactly. Yeah, and we want to extend the value and the pricing. So I never want it to be like, you just don't have the service. I always want to be the issue is, um, which one am I willing to commit to based on time and price? Okay. That's what I always want it to be. So, hey, uh, I'm a little bit more flexible and I don't have enough money. Remote programming is perfect for you. Hey, uh, I don't have as much time, but but I need a lot more help and I have the finances to do that. Remote coaching is perfect for you. And so now we offer a continuum of services based on your needs and financial uh, abilities. So, you know, I think we talked about offering the remote program for like $9.99 a month, like crazy affordable for yep. anybody who knows what they're doing, who wants to add our programming onto their own programming. Or remote coaching, we offer something a little bit more supplemental like you know 80 to 100 bucks a month to really like get more feedback it's constant it's your own coach you can detail more you know be more uh, direct with us when you need to yeah you're communicating more you're held more accountable it's like a everyday ongoing relationship type thing yeah so we're currently working on that and i'm excited to roll that out here really soon but yeah i think having that option as well is a, another option that we can as a, a facility help support more people uh, but gym owners can really look into saying listen this is you're already doing half the work if you believe that you are offering solid and legitimate programming why wouldn't you want to extend that to other people who are really committed who are gonna have skin in the game yeah no you got to uh, the other one I was thinking about it's kind of like PT but it's not as much committed uh, that but still has a value out of skill sessions and a skill session for us is really we just take we take one deficiency and we take 30 minutes and work on that with a client. You know, ideally in a perfect world, before class or after class, because they can do two birds with one stone. Very affordable, $30, 30 minutes. But hey, you came in, your snatch was struggling, and you know, listen, we are trying to work miracles. We have four or five movements in class, the skill of the week is snatch, uh, Olympic lifting today, it's a snatch. We have literally five to six minutes to review the snatch, give them another 15 minutes to build up the snatch and we're done. Uh -huh. Is that really enough time to, for them to master the snatch? No, no way. No. That's why I believe the best CrossFitters are the ones that have done it the longest. Why? Because they've had those 20 minute sessions many, many yeah. times over the period of the lifetime as a CrossFitter. With that said, if I can take an extra 30 minutes once or twice a week with these skill sessions, we're gonna get much better drastic exponential improvement from our members because it's we take 30 minutes, we're not rushed, this is all we're working for, and it's customized to you. It's really hard to customize uh, snatch cues in the middle of a group class. 
because everybody Reacts needs something different. But when you're coaching, you need general cues to give to the masses to get everyone moving quite similarly, quite quickly, so we can ineffectively, so we can get them into breakout sessions, 15 minutes, add load as needed. Uh-huh. Skill session is the uh, probably the most uh, direct positive effect someone can have immediately because there's no commitment. If you don't have $30 and 30 minutes to commit to a new exercise that you're struggling with, you're not really serious about improving. No, I agree. So uh, skill sessions we want to add to as a least like a less committed service, but still, hey, I don't think I need the 12 sessions up front. I don't need eight sessions up front, but there is this, the double on, like we know there are five, six movements most people struggle with on often. Those are perfect for skill sessions. Yes, double under, higher snatches, skills, pull-ups, handstands. Like everyone can use a skill session on one of those. Yeah, and go, you know, pre or post class. Like it, it's so easy to, to send it right, right then and there, right around the class um, that you're taking for that day. And for us, we're just trying to build more culture around that, like these, like we, we want to give them the understanding at all times of what the services are that we offer. Some people know we offer them, some we don't. And that's for us, that's my responsibility as a leader and the responsibility of coaches to naturally have these conversations with athletes. Like if you're in, it's a double under workout and you see the dude is getting really frustrated with the double unders, that's an easy follow up a conversation to have with your client or have one with one of those members about doing a skill session you know and is it sales sure but like that's just obvious you got to put skin in the game like yeah we're gonna have to eventually talk about money but it's more it's so much more important than that it's dude I would really love to help you with your double owners but I need 30 minutes of your time, uh-huh. right? And we want to respect the coach's time. We want to respect the athlete's time and that respect the athlete's time and that's how we do it. Cool. PTs, skill sessions, remote coaching and programming. What are we missing? Nutrition. One of the most important aspects of the whole game. Yeah, we've been, you know, something that I've been adamant about the last year. I'm living it. I'm breathing it. But, you know, we have this come all the time, Brett, and that's, this is really not popular to say from a gym owner perspective, but nobody needs exercise to improve body composition. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. You don't need exercise to improve body composition. I can't believe you just said that. Man. I can't. I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> fire me now, dog. I can't, can't believe I'm gonna you just walk said out. that. It's true though. It, it, it's it's very true. You can get by with eating super super clean and not exercising, but you cannot get by with training super super hard and eating like shit it's just not possible and like that's not why i train i train because i want to build strength i want to learn new cool shit like i want to challenge myself mentally that's what training does but body composition body dude i lost 20 pounds in i would say three and a half months and i didn't work out any more than i did when i hadn't when i when i was gaining weight I tied down my nutrition like I never have before. I recognize like people have different philosophies and we're talking about how do we create a message that we can have with everybody but help navigate them through their struggles because the same diet does not work for the same 150 people. And so that's how we're learning because really that's an issue of philosophy but learning how to just work through you know things with people. It has nothing to do with the diet itself. And so we're working through those packages now but the culture has to start with nutrition. It has to because, you know, it's selfish. For me, it's selfish. I want people to stay longer. And for people to stay longer here, they have to get keep results. They have to have to. You would be insane to spend uh, over $100 a month doing a program like this and still be overweight. You do it. If you stay, if you stay in a gym like this, you're still 30 pounds overweight and you stay here six to nine months later, you stay here because of the friendships and the community culture, what we talked about last week. But you are not staying because results, because no. you're not getting any yeah, results. You're not getting results. Sure, you, your energy is improved, you know, you feel slightly stronger, 100%. The fitness, that stuff is improving, but your health, like the composition, those biomarkers, I highly question whether that's happening. But you have to have these uncomfortable conversations because there's so much involved with nutrition. It's philosophy, it's emotional attachment, it's, you know, they feel like they're being deprived from food when they get put on a diet. And some people don't even know, like someone told me the other day, like, I think you should start with real food. She goes, I don't even know what that is. And I'm like, oh Oh my my God. God. Like, cause that's where we're starting with that individual. 
And uh, but it's a really tough conversation because if you're going to lose somebody at that six to nine month mark, you're losing them because they're not getting results. And that's purely why it's at. It's the fact of the matter. And you have to be honest with yourself as a gym owner or a coach to be like, I didn't get them results. That's why they left. And so they're going to go hop around some other program because they think that's going to be the magic thing. And it really, it's none of those things. You can get decent results doing all this stuff, doing these subpar programs if your food, your nutrition is tied down. Yeah, no, we've done a, a great job at bringing up this conversation a little bit better lately. You know, you've been pumping out the seminars, the webinars, you know, the combos are happening, you know, but until as of recently, we came up with a service to offer them um, that we can, you know, go that extra mile. Hey, we're having the conversation, but if they need that little additional extra help, what's the next step? What can I do, you know, moving forward to really get this dialed in? And that's how we came up with the two new systems, the two processes of the services we can offer. You know, one is the 30 day um, challenge, you know, 30 day uh, one on one communication with them, um, you know, 30 day plan. And then the other is an hour long consultation. We're going to sit down for an hour face to face. And hey, you know what it might get super awkward, it might get super uncomfortable, but it, ha- it has to be done. It has to be done because we can't do this, you know, you. Basically, we're in a hamster wheel, going around and around and around, moving, working hard, training intensely, but we're not getting any results. Yeah, and they both have different benefits. You know, the 30-day challenge is great for somebody who's like, I'm really serious, I wanna start yesterday, Um, I I need to clean this up. The 30-day challenge is a great way to learn to build new habits and some healthy lifestyles, and we walk we walk alongside them through that whole 30-day process. You know, It has the same vibe of the remote coaching, but they get to see us daily uh-huh. or every other day to really go over that and holding them accountable. That includes the body compositions and the, you know, the daily text. And uh, you know, depending on where they're at on our golden pyramid of nutrition, where they want to set, where we want to follow. We know most people who need to lose weight just need to learn how to follow a, a, a real food diet. And we offer them the references of the ones that we believe that work the best, but ultimately they need to jump on one of them and we're gonna guide them through that. Some people need a little bit more detail with that one-on-one. It's, you know, we talked about doing a three-day food log before we even see them. So we can start working through some of those conversations because ultimately it's about taking bad habits and replacing them with good habits. So it's like, we look at their food log and they're eating grains at every single meal, then we know what we need to do is supplement the grain for something else. And it's having these combos with them that they wouldn't normally have on their own. And that honestly, we don't have time for in group class. There's a reason it it happened naturally, although it's inexcusable. And that's, we don't have time or ever will have time in group class to talk about nutrition. nutrition. There's just not time for it. We're just making sure they, you know, they learn how to move the bar correctly yeah. without cracking their heads. Yeah. Like, we don't have time for that. That's okay, but don't let that be the excuse of why you don't talk about nutrition. And we need to just be more adamant about that because there are other programs that are doing a lot better than the CrossFit gyms are because they're, they, they, they're tying down that concept better, faster, harder, and they're getting results because of that, even though they're doing it with a subpar fitness program. Yeah, um, you know, I would kind of compare the two different uh, programs we offer nutrition wise uh, apply to two different types of people. Now the, th- the 30 day challenge is the person that might have a decent you know knowledge base about nutrition, but they can't they're struggling applying it, they're struggling to execute it, right? So that's when they need that 30 day one on one constant communication, constant accountability to force them to hey, this is what you need to do. And this is how we're going to do it. Right? Now, the um, one-on-one hour-long consultation would be someone that could be clueless. You know, hey, I don't know where to start. You know, um, I've been, since committing to training, I've been pretty, you know, consistent. I can stay on myself. I can stay motivated and stay uh, self-accountable, but I'm not even sure what to do, right? That's when you kind of sit down for that one-on-one hour. Hey, this is the blueprint. This is what you want to do here, here, here. Um, now let's apply and then they go on their way. They know what to do. Then they apply it themselves and they can afford to do that themselves. I love it, man. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff, man. I I really hope that, uh, you can take a few things from there and, uh, 
and, and put those into your services or take advantage of those services if you're a member. Yeah, no, these are things that are great to add into what you're doing now. You know, we're not trying to reform your entire schedule routine or whatever. This is what you can apply right now to with what you're already doing. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you. See you.